All right, guys. It was a dark, gray, gloomy Monday morning here in the end times. Bugs in a jar farm. We're looking over the bridge. All right. The creek is going down. It is now 7.30. Ah. Out here to go see if my raised beds A, survived, and B, if they behaved like raised beds are supposed to behave. All right. We've got quite the pond here. Good Lord. <laughs> Man, so far it looks like my garden is still here. Well, the raised beds did what raised beds are supposed to do. I was out here at one o'clock in the morning. At one o'clock in the morning, this was, these were all, this was all a lake. So this is why you build raised beds in a floodplain. Good Lord, the water has, seems to have receded and all my beds are, now these were underwater, you understand. I just planted these damn things, these little, basils and kale yesterday this entire bed was underwater uh, the potatoes were underwater the all of this garden all the way down to the beans this whole half of my garden even the tops of the beds i mean this tomato bed had two or three inches of water on top of it the onions were probably four inches underwater. Oh, that's like my little cornfield. All right. This was my big concern. I thought the cornfield was going to be on the ground. But all right. Looks like the corn is fine. Of course, you goddamn snails and slugs. That look at this, and there's one poor little okra plant. We got one snail, we got two snails, we got three, we've gone from slugs to snails. Three snails, four snails, fucking slug. Get out here, where's my sluggo? Look at these fuckers. Look at that fucker. Get off of here. Get the goddamn sluggo. Get these fuckers. Get off of there, you nasty piece of shit. Ah! Or she gonna just crawl on back. Well, working. I gotta get out here with that sluggo. Look at my poor little okra plants. Man. I think I got me a red tomato. This is one of my Florida tomatoes. I'm going to give this mater one more day, I think. Fucking tomato's got a slug on it. Son of a bitch. Look at that. He just put that hole in there. That damn slug putting a hole in my maters. All right. Man, and then pole beans starting to climb. Cucumbers coming on. Look at these damn slugs. That's the broccoli. They're hammering the broccoli in the collards. I'll come out. All right, let's go make sure the creek held. I think the creek held. I can see my uh, I can see my Joe Pie weed plant from here. Look at this jungle. July 12th. It looks like Ireland and 
Things like Ireland in April. Good Lord. Letting people in, letting people in California give for this, for this water. I am wearing a goose down vest here on July 12th. And we're having apartheid. We are having apartheid. We're literally having apartheid today. Uh, and his brother Alistair's birthday. And he and Eleanor are here, and Warren's here. And it is a full house at Hambone Hilton on this soggy ass morning. The Clements has had no problem. The Tingas do not do well in Wayne. I gotta remember that the next year. Look at that thing, it came right through the rain. We got three more days of this. Alright. Tiny house came through just fine. Just fine. Alright. The bog garden is a little overflowing, but uh, seems to have come through just fine. And this gorgeous Joe Pie weed. Look at that. Okay, if we can just make it, looks like till Thursday. All right. The bank held. There you go. Fine looking. Think we gotta fortify that. That creek bank. But, uh, Rain will probably be starting again. Man. Gotta get Brother Warren up from the tiny house. Look at that. Those New Guinea impatiens love this rain. That is some happy, happy New Guinea impatience. Put this in yesterday. This was what I built yesterday out in front of the tiny house. I need coffee. Need me some coffee.